In today's abandoned video, we travel to a gigantic abandoned asylum in Ireland that opened in the early 1900s, boasting an abundance of rare features and scenes emphatic of typical hospital design from the period. Some sections of the property, spanning almost 500 acres, are still used today, but the majority of the site has been decaying for over a decade. Difficult to infiltrate with many well thought out security defences that caused us problems as we attempted to cover the site in full. He's here. He's coming out now. He's coming. Hello. What are you doing? Hi, sorry, we were just taking photos. Where are you from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. It's done. <laughs> yeah? No, I'll, I'll, I'll just say something. It's so awkward. <laughs> this is going to be hard because we don't usually film this sort of stuff, but we thought it would be good to have like a inclusive behind the scenes of our whole trip. Um, whether it will come out all at once or it will be split up, I'm not sure. I don't know. It depends on what you film, but we've just arrived in Holyhead in Wales and we're about to jump on the, uh, the four hour cross into Dublin to start the trip. Yeah. So yeah, um, we'll do a bit of behind the scenes stuff and um, hopefully it'll be a successful trip. I hope so. And this will actually go somewhere. I hope so. <laughs> Might not even make it, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Disaster stroke. Once upon a time, the historic asylum was referred to as the forefront of mental health care when it opened at the start of the 20th century with a beginning capacity of over 1,000 beds at a staggering construction cost of £300,000. The complex would develop further over the next century, utilising a lot of its 500 acres available to become an entirely self-sufficient mini-town, offering two churches, a graveyard, fire station, butcher, tailor, hairdressers and even a shoe repair service, able to have everything it required within a walking distance. Its colossal size would amass to accept more than 1,600 patients and over 300 staff, with food prepared in huge kitchens and their vegetables grown in the extensive gardens and farmland. On our recent island trip, this was the first location we visited shortly after arriving in the country in the evening. We hadn't explored for months, so what could be better than a massive part active asylum with on site security and cameras to bring us back into the swing of things? Not desiring to arouse suspicion from the few workers left at this time, or from the security monitoring the units of CCTV, we walked briskly up to the structure and clambered onto its roof without hesitation, 
hoping that the unusual method would mean we would stray away from the camera's vision and find a quiet entry point deep into the site. If we get into an upper bit, we can do all the top floors over here, can we just... The more slates we manoeuvred across, the more we realised how vast the facility truly was, with over 70 buildings in total amidst its grounds. Soon enough we would come into contact with a viable access spot. Oh, the doors are open. After locating a door left ajar, all that was left to do would be to find a way down into the courtyard it was situated in. We had been aware that there was internal cameras and motion sensors scattered through the hospital, but it still meant that we wouldn't choose to use certain routes inside until we had no other options. I'm not sure if you can make it out in the video, but there's a camera in the top corner of the ceiling there. So we can't go that way just yet, unless we plan on getting caught, which we kind of do, but we'll see. Yeah, it's very stripped, but it's typical asylum architecture. Lovely tiled floor for these bathrooms here, or toilets, I should say. Big wooden doors. Classic pastel colour at the end here. It's not super impressive, but it's just the little details that make asylums like these so fun to explore. Some furniture remaining. It's going to be quite a brisk walk through the hospital because we don't have that much time before it gets dark. Automatic lights, a bit concerning, but I'll allow it. No cameras as far as I can see. Moving carefully around one of the rear buildings in the premises, we were seeing many iconic aspects from asylums of the time. The rooms were mostly stripped, but that didn't take anything away from the old architecture and minimalistic decay. in it. 
on the windows that would fold in and give them no light at all. Very cramped in here. There's no evidence that anyone ever stayed. Is that one of the dormitories? Oh, wow. Is it spacious? All of one of Florence to them place. And the little strips of wallpaper on the edge really give it that asylum feel. Coupled with these huge bay windows, of course. Got the stores on the left in the kitchen here. Still some of the appliances left in place. Not the old cooker, but not a lot else really. Looking out over the asylum. It's so big. Yeah, there are the cameras. Possibly for this. Here, like behind it. It's not behind the oh, no. Just gotta be quick. I want it if I want anything. Mm -hmm. We were seeking the facility's main hall desperately. After being forced to walk in front of a camera to access another portion of the hospital, little did we know we were metres away from it. We're currently searching for the main hall. Now fear is here. It's not. Fear is here. It's actually this. Okay. I've been seeing. So we're inevitably gonna get caught anytime soon. Here we go. And this is the main hall. We've actually found it. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Wow. This is unbelievable. Wow. Holy shit. Inside the asylum's heart lies one of the grandest halls that remains today for a structure of its purpose. With a decorated proscenium, detailed arched ceiling and vibrant stained glass windows, the space was remarkable to stand in. During the complex's activity, it would have been used for events, plays, films and gym work for patients. Now the unique and classic hall is looking very worse for wear. The high security presence at the hospital has kept it free of vandalism, but neglect has left it cracking at the walls, reminding those that enter of the possibility that its ornate arch could crash down at any minute. Turns out you can get onto the balcony. It's more than worth it. It's one of the best asylum main halls I've ever done. Despite it being a real privilege to witness the amazing room intact, it had cost us on our exploration. Even though we had expected it at some point, it was a strange feeling to know that someone was aware we were wandering through the asylum and could be heading our way soon. We couldn't stay for long, wanting to document as much of the derelict interior as we could. Darting through corridors on the search for a new area, we were noticing some changes. Security are turning the fire lights on. 
in an attempt to find us. Looks like offices in here. Yeah. Strange that the jacuzzi just here. Oh, look at this. Stained glass windows in the octagonal roof. Oh, there's a corridor's leading off from every angle. This is, this is how you connect corridor. Another impressive feature was the octagonal junctions between the multiple corridors at the psychiatric hospital. These centrepieces would create a beautiful meeting point for staff and patients, but nowadays are mainly dominated by cameras, aiming to catch explorers as they try to connect to a separate building. In the 1980s, the introduction of deinstitutionalisation to the UK and Ireland caused this and many dubbed lunatic asylums to fall into a period of decline. The policy's goal was to eliminate state-run long-term care facilities for the mentally ill, known for abuse, mistreatment and overcrowding. Numbers were falling fast, and a large site would no longer be needed for the smaller capacity it held in modern days. Just over a decade ago, the Mental Health Commission instructed that the hospital should stop admitting patients due to its unacceptable and inhumane conditions. The majority of the premises would be closed a few years later. Any second now. leaves coming into this one. And this lovely corridor. Some hydrotherapy baths in here. Ward curtain as well. Maybe we'll start finding some more stuff. However, it was getting dark and most of the property didn't have working electricity. We agreed to leave the building and return later on our trip to finish recording. 
This was going to be the plan, but unfortunately it wouldn't go how we had hoped. Another dormitory here. Looks like there's some stuff in it as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is quite nice. Well, it helps. It means we can stay longer into the night. Yeah. It's more like junk, but at least there's something to look at. Whilst leaving, we suddenly spotted a squad of police cars parking right outside the very structure we were inside. It seemed we had bided our time for a tad too long. As we watched the men enter the property at pace, we seized our opportunity to make a quick escape whilst the coast was clear. As you have probably worked out by now, it didn't work, and a lingering officer just glimpsed us before we could vanish into the night. He's here. He's coming out now. He's coming. Hello. Hi, sorry, we were just taking photos. Hard, That's all. Where are you from? The, from the, the UK. UK. England. Yeah, yeah. tree. Yeah. yeah. It's just where stuff. are you um, we're, we're just, just road trying, trip Yeah, moment. we're photographers. <laughs> we just heard this was like a closed hospital. We just, oh, yeah. we're not doing any harm, not breaking yeah, anything. Yeah, we're just, just looking patients over them. Yeah. 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 Just have ideas of one. Yeah. How yeah. long is, what do you say, you're from England, is it? Yeah. yeah. How long is over for? A week. A week. We just got into that. We just like do photography and we just thought it would be cool to have a look at it. It's a really nice asylum. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm calling just more Cheshire once it's having broken and once it's gone. No, oh, yeah. No, we're literally... We wouldn't break we're in or anything. It's planning on going and then you would arrive. <laughs> right, it's currently you're happy enough, so I'll just... Uh, once you just go off. How would you just get out here anyway? Do you walk? Pardon? How would you just get out here? Oh, here we just walk. Walk. Yeah. Over. So, and where yeah. are you staying? We're on the road. We're on a road trip. So we've parked and we've walked. Oh, he's half a rental yeah, car. I've got. Our, we drove on that. We came on the ferry. Right. So. Where are you? Where are you staying anywhere? Uh, we're on it. We're tonight. We're sleeping in the car, but tomorrow we're sleeping we've got in the car. Bnb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have like Airbnbs and stuff. Okay. Just... Oh, this place is haunted, lads. <laughs> oh yeah. And you're, and you're going to stay in the car with me. You have a channel. What's the story? Yeah, yeah, we did. On Instagram, isn't it? Instagram, YouTube. What was it? Yeah, yeah. What's the story? Abandoned. Abandoned. Yeah. And you're an old father of yours, or? <laughs> 60,000 or something. Say one or two. <laughs> 60,000. <laughs> D-O-N. And then D-O. Yeah, oh, that, that top one there. This one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you came up straight away anyway. <laughs> That's just our Instagram. We do stuff on YouTube. Oh, How oh, many followers are there? Stand alone. 7,000. Yeah. Yeah. That all? Yeah. Fuck nah, sake. that's the same still. Fuck sake. 60,000 on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trying yeah. to get that bit across. Um, <laughs> There's five, five more here or four more? Four, four more here, yeah. He doesn't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, no. Sounds, you look at. Yeah. Well, lads, just tip on there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you very much, guys, right. for being here. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you. Which way? Yeah. This way? We've come with you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thankfully the police were some of the nicest we have had the pleasure of meeting and even subscribed to the channel. We were gutted that we couldn't come back to the asylum to explore deeper into its infinite corridors, but we think that the highlights we did see were worth showcasing in a video. The structure's well-organised security might imply that it has some potential to be saved in the future because of its relatively sound condition. Currently the site is primarily abandoned with no plans for restoration. Here are some of our photographs from the abandoned psychiatric hospital. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description where we share images months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our last two videos from our recent island trip. There is so much more to come, but at a later date. Our behind the scenes series is available for all Patreon donators down below if you can't wait. See you next time.